Hey y'all, welcome to my first little vlog here. Um, this is not going to be a series. I'm not going to do vlogs all the time. Um, but I just wanted to do a vlog because a lot of people have DM'd me or like sent me comments. So we're just going to bust things open in a little video real quick. And hopefully that covers everything. Um, so my name is Kiara Patterson. I usually go by Key. Um, few people call me Kiki, but either is fine. Um, I am 23 years old. I'll be 24 in April. I'm from D.C. Um, all of my family is from North Carolina, but I'm from D.C. And I went to undergrad at Lincoln University, the first degree grants at HBCU. I currently go to a PWI grad school, Widener University. Um, so in undergrad, I got two degrees in human services and sociology, and then two minors in anthropology and English. And so now I'm in grad school for two more degrees in social work and um, my Masters of Education in Human Sexuality Studies and Sex Therapy. So I'm doing a lot. <laughs> um, so right now I'm teaching, I've been teaching since I graduated college. Um, I went from pre-K three to pre-K four, um, went to pre-K two, then I went to infants and then back to pre-K three. Um, so I'm just in the early beginners, uh, teaching. Um, so of course, like I said, I'm now in school for, um, social work and sex therapy and I'm trying to find more positions in my career field, um, cause I don't really want to be a teacher all my life, but, um, yeah, so I'm trying to find more things like case management, things like that. But um, I am a certified poetry teacher artist, so I can teach workshops and, you know, you can book me, you know, we, we can communicate, okay? But, um, yes, yeah, so I'm a poetry teaching artist. I did that over the summer last year. Um, and so my poetry scene right now is not too vibrant. Um, so... Ever since I went to Lincoln, um, I was in a collective called I Spit, um, the only poetry um, organization on campus, technically. Um, it was another one called JVI, but, you know, irrelevant. But, um, anywho, um, I always like to call myself a page poet. And so, my freshman year, my sophomore year, I was very into, like, doing shows and um you know participating with the collective and then i don't know after sophomore year something hit me and i just i didn't want to do it anymore like i still love to write um i would share sometimes or then sometimes i wouldn't it got to the point where i just didn't want to share it all i just wrote and i shared in the privacy of my dorm or something like that but not more so in the meetings and so ever since then i was just calling myself a page poet and so that carried on until now <laughs> so I write obviously and I'm just now getting back into wanting to perform my work um but I definitely know that stage presence and learn how to, to learn how to deliver poems is something that I really need to work on and so um I'm getting back into that so what we all came for I released my first poetry book on New Year's and um, I like to call it like a vulnerable piece um, for me because I'm not the person to share emotions. Um, I literally am only emotional or um, something like if it's built up and then I just explode, um, which is not healthy, but you know. I really was at a place where I didn't want to hold things in anymore and I wrote like a f two or three poems at first put them on my blog saw the reaction from that and then I just developed this book so the book um dear Jonathan um this is a watermark version but whatever 
So, um, the book Dear Jonathan, so like I said, inspiration came from um, heartbreak, love, and all that good stuff. Um, I was in a relationship on and off with this boy since I was 14 years old. And so, you know, 10 years. Um, so, we um, are toxic like very toxic for each other um and that's something that is very clear um we've but more recently like in 2017 um 2018 is when it just got it got terrible and i just started writing a book and it really was hard to cut ties because he was what was comfortable for me and so in writing the book I realized that every poem wasn't about him like like I said we were on and off so I've had guys in between and you know whatever but I was writing poems about them and then I was writing poems about him and then I was playing the game that he was playing so he cheated I cheated and it just became this cycle or whatever and so um, I wrote poems about cheating and I wrote poems about being a mistress or whatever because at one point he had went and got into another relationship and we were still involved and all this other stuff. And so it just formed this big book and that's how you got Dear Jonathan. But um, every poem is not about Jonathan. So <laughs> um, a lot of people get confused like, oh, who's Jonathan? or is everything about and it's not it's just the title because that's where I was at at the moment it was who I was used to and I just threw his name in there because he made me the most depressed okay let's just be honest so um yeah so the structure of the book um I put it into three parts because of where I was at or what I thought so I had like part one is the idea what you know I was 14 when we met so I had this whole like oh my god I'm a freshman in high school and I'm dating a senior and blah 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 bullshit so I had this idea of what, it wanted, what I wanted it to be and but because I didn't really know what love was I'm 14 years old that's why that um, that section is the shortest in the book um the reality it's all the BS, okay? All the BS. Fool me like a um, game of checkers, okay? Or chess or whatever the saying is. Um, and then the aftermath is where I got a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Um, you know, I had to get out of character a few times. But yeah, so that's the most toxic I've ever been because I was so hurt and it really brought out a side of me that I didn't even know existed so that's the structure of that book and I kind of explained all of that um, in the rundown portions of the um, book and so that's that um, what's next so I do want to do another book because I found this to be very um, liberating but um, as far as immediate next steps, um, I'm going to do another vlog because I got questions about um, certain things in the book. And then some people was like, go over um, a few poems. I'm not going to read them because um, some are long, but um, I asked people what were their favorite poems and we can kind of like discuss it just a teeny bit. But. Um, yeah, I'm going to do another video after this one and we're going to do that real quick, but I just plan on, you know, keep promoting this book. Um, I'm going to try to do, um, a book signing for those in the area because I did get a lot of sales and I'm very surprised. Thank you for your support. Um, but I do have a nonprofit, so I'm going to do like some community service events and maybe like I'll have a table where I can sign some books there um, so I can you know do everything in one stop shop 
but yeah so basically it's just gonna be promoting um i'm gonna be annoying with posts because i'm trying to get some coins so <laughs> i'm gonna try to promote my book as much as possible but that's that and so thank you for watching and be tuned in for the next video